So are you wondering how to start a consulting business from scratch, from zero in 2021? Well, if that is you, I am gonna share with you guys exactly how you guys can go ahead and do that in this video. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Jonathan. If you guys are brand new here, go ahead and give this video a like. Go ahead and comment down below. What is your biggest question when it comes to starting an online business? Whether it's a marketing agency, a consulting business, a coaching business, whatever it is, I want to know what is the biggest thing holding you back from chasing a life of freedom. Now, in today's video, we're going to go ahead and go over how you guys can go ahead and start a consulting business from scratch, from zero, even if you have no experience, if you, even if you have no idea how to do it. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys every single step you need to go ahead and take in order to start a profitable online consulting business. Now, guys, this also relates if you want to start a marketing agency or a coaching business. So now, I know the title says how, how, how to start a consulting business from zero, but this also relates if you want to start a marketing agency or a coaching business as well now guys as you guys know I'm a huge advocate of selling your expertise online I'm a huge advocate of starting a business where you can go ahead and help someone else achieve a result now I absolutely love that I think that's probably the best business model out there no matter if it's a consulting business a coaching business or a marketing agency well what we're doing with those business models is that we're selling our expertise we're selling our knowledge that we have but we're packaging it in a way that helps other people achieve a certain result and transform their life in a certain way you can start a consulting business or a coaching business about helping you know people lose weight or helping people get in shape for trials for soccer trials if that's what you are passionate about you can easily start a, coach, a coaching business about that you can also start a consulting or a coaching business about helping dentists go ahead and grow their practice using Facebook ads you can start a consulting or a coaching business about helping and though you just get more clients with coaching uh, with Facebook ads. There's so many different aspects of starting a consulting or a coaching business that makes this probably the most powerful business model in 2021 and beyond. As you guys know, nowadays people are way more open than when I first got started to do business with people online. Why? Because this whole pandemic taught them that hey, they don't actually need to go to a store in order to get their groceries. They can order it and get it to their house. They don't need to go to, you know, to school in, like in person to go ahead and learn something. They can learn it online. And that's why right now, coaches, consultants, or course creators, they're so in demand. People want to go ahead and learn high income skills. People want to go ahead and transform their life. And so we're going to get started with this right away. The first thing you got to have to understand, that's just not the way you start. Hey, how much consulting for this is, is gain muscle and lose weight. You're nailing your middle. You need to know become a bodybuilder and also super run a marathon. You, need to you can't do that. It doesn't make sense. You what can be a coach or a consultant, but other people run a marathon. 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 Or hey, and you had to you can go ahead and uh, start coaching a consultant well. because, because you have to about understand that when you start a marketing agency, or you can start an agency. You have to know who you're speaking to. You have to know what pain point they have. You have to know the problem exactly what specific industry that you can go ahead and make to their life. Number two, you actually have to hone your skills. Guys, it's extremely important to hone your skills. This pretty much means if you have a certain skill set, let's say you are a coach that you're trying to help you know people lose weight you have to understand you have to become knowledgeable in the industry if you, especially if you're starting from zero if you don't have any knowledge right now and you have an interest in fitness right you have to become knowledgeable in the skill set because you're going to have to create content that's going to go ahead and become make you a credible source or you're going to have to give away value which we'll get into in a second that's going to make you a credible trustable person and if you don't own your skills, if people, if you are giving value or advice to people and they're like, wait, this doesn't make any sense, 
they're going to start questioning your credibility. And that's exactly when you lose everything. So you have to invest in yourself. You have to invest time and sometimes even money in yourself. If you're trying to become a consultant or a coach, you have to learn the certain skill sets that it takes for you to deliver the service that you're promising. Remember, you're in this business to help other people achieve and get a result. And if you're not good enough, if you don't have the certain skill sets to get someone else a result that you promise, then you shouldn't be in this business whatsoever. So it's important to hone your skills, especially at the beginning of your journey. Step number three is identify your client avatar. Who is your ideal client? What problem are they facing? What solution can you actually bring to the table? What solution do they want? You have to understand who is who is it that you are who is it that you're talking to? You, who is it that you're talking about? What like what's the current situation and what's their ideal situation? You have to do your market research at this point. Now that you know your niche, you know who what industry you're targeting, you're honing your skills, you also have to go out there in the marketplace and figure out okay, what is it that your ideal client wants? What problem are they facing? And the only way to go ahead and do this is to actually survey them, create a survey. Create a survey and ask your ideal client to go ahead and take the survey for you. Now, the best way to drive traffic to the survey is while you're honing your skills. Is while you're honing your skills, go ahead and start teaching what you're learning. Teach what you're learning and ask people, hey, is it okay if you answer these quick questions? This will go ahead, this will go ahead and help me help you a lot more. And people will be open to answering the questions and answering your survey. Step number four is provide immense value. Guys, this is where stuff starts to get extremely interesting and extremely excited because you want to go ahead and provide value to your ideal client. Okay, so at this point, you should know your niche that you actually are targeting. You should be honing your skills and teaching them back to the marketplace. You should be able to pinpoint your client's biggest pain point and where they actually want to go and right now you are providing tremendous value okay this is the next step into this journey you have to be able to provide value whatever you're actually learning you have to be able to teach it back to your ideal client give it back to them give them everything you know in videos like this like i'm doing right now right now i'm doing exactly step number four in my journey i know my niche i'm honing my skills i i know my client avatar because my, my me myself i'm going through this transformation and right now i'm giving you guys everything i know in my mind right everything i I'm learning I'm giving it back to you guys so this is me giving you guys value right this is me giving you guys value so I can be able to help you guys grow your online business be able to help you guys grow your consulting and coaching business this is me and step number four what I'm doing right now I'm giving you guys value so I can help you guys later on be able to grow your business step number five is create your beta offer you have to be able to create a beta offer that you can go ahead and offer to people who are reaching out to you now when you guys are creating immense value when you guys are creating value you're going to get people asking you more questions you're going to get people asking you for more help you're going to get people answering your survey like i told you in step number three so you can understand your client's avatar and they're gonna be asked for more help. They're gonna be like, hey, Jonathan, how can I actually do this? Hey, Jonathan, can you help me? Hey, Jonathan, are you, do, do you do coaching calls? Like, people are gonna to come to you and you're gonna be able to say, no, right now I'm not offering any coaching calls like I am right now, but eventually I can go ahead and create my own beta offer. I can create a beta offer that I can say, hey guys, I'm gonna, um, hey guys, I'm actually creating a beta offer that I'm gonna take in five, you know, coaching clients for the next month and being able to help them boom, 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 achieve this certain result that I already know that they want because I've surveyed my marketplace. I surveyed my marketplace. I know what result they want. So I can say, hey guys, in the next month, I'm going to take five coaching clients to go ahead and get from where they are now to where they want to be. If this sounds like you, go ahead and DM me right now so I can see who are a good fit. And then on the phone, on the meeting, you, you tell them, hey, this is a beta offer. I'm going to be charging a lot more for this later on. And the reason why this is a beta offer is because step six, I am collecting testimonials and case studies. So guys, that is the next step. After you create your beta offer on the phone, you want to go ahead and, and tell them, hey, the reason why the only reason why I'm creating this beta offer is because I want testimonials and case studies. Now, the beta offer could be a paid beta offer like I recommend you guys doing because you want people to have skin in the game. I've done a lot of free coaching calls that have gone nowhere. Like I've done some free coaching calls that have gone somewhere. But 
the ones that are actually pay, the one that the ones that actually pay have skin in the game and want and and are willing to do whatever it takes to get the certain result that they desire. It's super important. Guys, think about it. When you when you buy, for example, let's say you buy a ten dollar laptop compared to a three thousand dollar laptop, which laptop are you gonna take care of more? This three thousand dollar laptop because you spend more money on that, and that money costs you a lot of time to get. So you're gonna take care of it more. You're gonna put more effort into it, and that's what happens when people actually get courses. How many times have you gotten a twenty dollar seven course, twenty twenty seven dollar course compared to a two thousand dollar course, and you like you put a lot more emphasis and a lot more time on that course because yeah, it's more expensive. It's more premium and it costs you more money. So you're gonna spend more time and you're gonna actually put the effort in into that course. Even if both of these courses have the same exact knowledge, you're still gonna put more time into the more expensive one because it costs you more. And this is the same thing with beta offers. You wanna make them make sure that they're actually paid because you wanna go ahead and get people who are committed into the transforming into transforming their life and getting the result that you want so you can go ahead and collect the best testimonials and the best case studies. Lastly guys, number seven, step seven is to scale with ads and funnels. You wanna go ahead and make sure you have a system, a system to be able to go ahead and scale after you got your five, your first five to 10 clients, you wanna make sure you have a system to be able to scale by running ads with sales funnels, with emails, and you wanna have the certain system built out already and ready to go by the time it's time for you guys to scale. Cause eventually you're gonna have enough money so you can spend on advertisement and now you're created this machine that turns strangers into leads and this and turns leads into appointments and turns appointments into clients and that's exactly where you want to be but you can't jump from where you are now all the way over there if you are ground zero you have to start and you have to take every single step that i talked about so you can go ahead and get to where you want to be in your life and in your pro and, and in your business so guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked today's video. I think I was able to give you guys a lot of value. If you guys take all of these seven steps, you will be where you wanna be. You will be where you desire to be in the next 90 days, but it does take time, it does take effort, and it takes consistency, which is the most important. So guys, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for being here. If you guys did like this video, go ahead and give this video a like. Go ahead and comment down below. What is your biggest question when it comes to starting your own online high ticket business? So other than that, thank you so much for your time and I'll talk to you guys later.